And welcome back guys. We're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077 Remastered, the remastered version. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get into it. Good to see you, V. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at Anchor in the Bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes. And if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. And what's to stop her little errand boy from selling us out? He will not do that. He's a man of honor. <laughs> right, because Arasaka's ranks are chock full of those. Do not confuse true honor with the petty morals by which you live. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this her? Your thief. She's my witness, V. Can speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. V, you can trust Oda. All right then, Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until your Nobu lunged at Saburo and started Silence. choking. Silence. Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe. In this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama. Most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. But you can't Unlike... ignore the truth! Correct. Unlike you. I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. Sorry, I do but this gonna take much longer. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to your inabo sama What would you do now were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself ready. Oda, not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. 
Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If, somehow, we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Now just the fixer, Dame. Wakako Okada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? JJ Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Uh, just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I am... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. Well, well, who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Okako. Long time no see. So what brings you here? And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together, that's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite koei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V. 
bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Eddie's is why. Always about Eddie's, Wakako. You wanna make him, we got this. Doesn't get any simpler. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka again. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex's fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped at a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex. I answered. Just facts, nothing more. Good, cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free. You sure? Got my reasons. But patience, I got none. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi Platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old, automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japan Town, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wakako. We appreciate this. Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A tiger claw specialty. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. You, you asshole. Door needing no good bastard, son of a bitch. Stop right there. What? Huh? Oh, hey, honey.
What the? It's a good thing you answered. I could probably use your help. Probably. Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Deep breaths, Pan Am. Tell me what's going on. Do you remember Saul? The leader of the clan? Left. Uh-huh. Had a fallen out or something? Doesn't matter right now. He... They nabbed him. This is just not suitable for a call me. Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the old Calvis camp. I'll explain it all. The old Calvis? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. V, it's good you're here. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths. We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but... I felt I could count on you. Always, Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V. What's going on there? Her? After what happened to Scorpion, she shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay. How do you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Wait. Meaning it's just gonna be us two? What about all you guys? Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek. Static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find... Peter gets nabbed, and you what? Hope for the best? 
Rather not think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! She has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in? Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. You see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. job I mostly improvised actually either way it'll have to do hold on a minute I got one more thing if you find Saul hasn't flatlined you'll probably need this spike superjet a rhino dose it should speed up Saul's central pump hope so doubt I could carry him on my back so that should be everything V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. Want me driving? Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Oh, yeah. We 
even have a radio in here. Take it for a spin if you like. let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but... Moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figurates to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the song I remember. All had him right. I know. It's just... bad and more than its look. We have to move quickly. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. I have you in range.
main structure. That has to be where they're holding salt. Stay out of sight!
Got a girl here, dead, disemboweled. And not just for her chrome, I don't think. Fucking rapids! So is built! There's no line they won't cross! None! Keep looking, B. Maybe, just maybe we're not too late. Great. Think I got eyes on him. Is he? Breathing? Think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul? Do... do... do you have my goddamn cigar? Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But... she left. Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. You're pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Uh, oh, yeah. So, how is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. He'll live. Now get yourselves out of there. I'll have a shitstorm down here. Ruined to be a Category 5. I know. Get out of the building. I'll be right there. Brace yourself. Oh, oh we're made up. Cavalry is about to arrive! Spangate! Here 
Pan Am, you're making a mistake. Another one. You're serious right now? Those devils wanted to know our location. If we drive to camp now, you'll just be setting the table for them. You look outside lately! The storm will wipe our tracks! And the scent of blood? What? Must have rustled up reinforcements. We got more chomping at our tail! Treat an engine. Fuck off, Saul. I can't squeeze any more out of it. Cut off that tail. Get ready. Remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. <sighs> just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, B? I'll search in here. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this done.
see what I see. Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, off-loading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. Uh, and if you had mounted a raid of your own, You're well, both exhausted. That would have been the end of Maybe me. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. Don't be mad, but I think Saul could be right. What? Why? Clan's future. It's survival. That's what's at stake. Mm-hmm. Did you hear me talking about something else? Compared the Raffins to locusts? I mean, Biotechnica's got experience with pests. Hear that, Pan Am? That is the voice of reason. All I hear is the fucking wind. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Well, what was that about? Probably the meds talking. I sure hope so. I think he took a few solid hits to his skull. And? Think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am? Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them? I fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Got a few ideas. Think you know what kind. Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? Right. So, friends, then. I think that would be best. And be. I am glad you came. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? Mm, nope. Mm. Mm -hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any shut eye. Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams.
Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. You gotta agree Almost now. Our raid. Next time I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Hang on. Thought you were headed back to the Aldecaldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, both of you spewed some drivel. But I do have to grant him one thing. The wraiths, the raid. It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Aldecaldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Glad I could help. Glad I did. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback.
Jordan for the third consecutive Je ne attaquer, je suis Je suis certain. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.